hands. <laughs> oh, well, you know, my tummy was making the rumblies from <laughs> which all my hands can satisfy. <laughs> I was like, how do you know about salad, salad fingers. fingers and not all of the others? And he was like, no. Hi. Hi. Welcome back. Welcome back. Guess what I did today? I went and bought it. <laughs> <laughs> I needed the physical copy. I told you it was a damn Good book. It was. Mm -hmm. I have so many thoughts. I took so many notes. All of my notes for the second half, uh, the book, are in all caps. I'm honestly thinking about listening to it again. <laughs> it was so good. So good. I, I was so impressed. We went to Barnes & Noble looking for it. They're out of stock. Mm -hmm. H.D. <coughs> Carlton is not in stock at any Barnes & Noble. You yeah. have to buy it online because I also went looking for Where's Molly. All right. Yeah. So that has to I be wonder, I, purchased on oh, um, Kindle Unlimited. Yes. I went on my computer, and that is where you have to sign up for it, on your computer. Interesting. And then you can access it on it. Okay. Well, I'm glad they you were have able to figure that out. 30 days free. Okay. And then after that, it's 11 something a month. Okay, that's not bad. There's so many books that are included with it. Really? So many. There's one that I was looking at um, about thinking about reading because it was like a, obviously like a dark romance, but it was like a military dark romance. <laughs> and, uh, Perfect for you? Yes. And because it was one of those where it was like, <laughs> hey, all those girls were obsessed with masked men and Call of Duty. This is perfect for you. Um, and it was called like See You Soon. And I was like, where can I find this? Is it audiobook anywhere? And it doesn't seem to be. Um, but it's on Kindle Unlimited. Now they have... 30 days free, eleven ninety nine a month, or they have two months, four ninety nine, and then eleven ninety nine a month. Gotcha. So you get two months, four ninety nine. I think it's one payment of four ninety nine, and then after that it's eleven. Yeah. So it's like you pay a little bit, but you're paying immediately versus having it free for thirty days. Isn't there a Kindle app that you can download on your phone? Yep. Yeah. <coughs> mm -hmm. I'll have to look into that. So that's why like I have it downloaded. Um, and then I also have downloaded on my iPad and I was thinking about for that, like for my iPad. And then I was looking at screen protectors that were like the paper, like the mat. So it wasn't super glossy. And I found, a, I found a few because I know I'm going to have to start reading some of them. Not all of them are going to be on Audible. Yeah. Well, I told, I was talking to Logan about it today because I made him drive because I've been doped up on NyQuil and DayQuil for three days. And he, uh, was like, but you already... You already read the book. You have it on. You bought it on Audible. Why do you need the physical copy? And I was like, first things first. That is why I need the physical copy. She beautiful. <laughs> she beautiful. She gorgeous. I don't yeah. need to say more. Secondly, when I am doing all of the second, uh, secondly, secondly, yeah, secondly, when I am taking my notes for my book club, I'm listening to it, right? I have it out of her. I have to pause it, take my notes, mm -hmm. and then play it again. And, you know, I have to be in front of a computer. I can't be doing anything else. It's not the usual, like, I can do whatever I want and I'm listening to the book because I it doesn't matter. No, I need to, like, take notes. So it was like, I feel like if I have the physical copy, yeah, I can, like, listen to it and read along or I could just read it with a highlighter and I could just highlight annotate. with a pen, annotate, and get your little like. I have tabs. tons of the tabbies, and I'm. It's gonna be color coded. Have you not, have you not found the the, the post that you, you can write on? Well, those, yeah, but there's like a whole TikTok side where about book annotating and like <gasps> that. Some like some places, if you buy certain books from certain stores, they'll send it with like it'll be nicely wrapped, and then it will have like a nice little highlighter, but also annotate different like color coordinated like ones that go with the color theme of the book <gasps> oh i need to find, you need to find that part of tiktok <laughs> i need that in my life i have to look them up then and yeah. try to send you some of those tiktoks um, um, we're just gonna, we're just gonna, um i can't wait to like me too yeah I'm, I'm super excited but i was having that conversation with him and he was like well yeah i guess his idea was once we move to have like a setup for me where I have like a bookshelf mm -hmm. on either both sides or one side 
And then whatever book, I like I just start adding the books to your bookshelf. the bookshelf. And I was like, yeah, that's fine. So you're okay with me also buying the physical <laughs> copy of these books? <laughs> like, I don't want to hear your shit when we go to move into an RV and you're like, why do we have so many goddamn books? I don't want to hear it. It's your fault. You're the one that did it. But yeah, I was also contemplating the like Kindle idea, but can you annotate in the Kindle? I don't know. Okay. That I'm would be a deal breaker gonna for me. I'm probably going to get that Kindle Unlimited. I'll let you know. Yeah. Because then if you have an, an iPad. Well, I want to get one for my cookbooks. Yeah. So that. Yeah, I wanted to get that that um, screen protector that makes it like a matte yeah. looking screen. Like, yeah. It's supposed to be like a paper feel almost. I know exactly what you yeah. mean. I like those. I would really appreciate that if you could let me know. Because that, that would be a deal breaker for me. Yeah. If I could annotate in that, then... That's fine. I'll just do that and I'll wait until we're done in the RV to yeah, and then purchase all of my books. Is if you can, you might be able to pull it up on your computer and have it. I'm just trying to think of other ways to make it easier. Because like if I'm in the car or something, I don't want to have to... Or like when we go to Hawaii, I don't want to have to have my laptop out on the plane. Mm-hmm. You know, like I'm trying to think of other ways to, to go about it. But yeah. That's what I did today. Yes, yeah, so I'll try that. Yeah, let me know. You want to do some table topics? I put, I only put two aside. Okay, that's fine. I kind of want to get the other thing out, the one that's a little crazier. Okay. Would you rather, this is going to go pretty much book talk-ish. Would you rather date a famous athlete, CEO, great chef, or esteemed writer? <coughs> Ooh. I feel like there's a lot of downsides though. There are. Like athlete, they're going to, famous athlete, they're going to be traveling all the time. But you could travel with them. If you have a family, hard to... CEO, they spend a lot of time. See, my mind is just compare, like making each like a different... Are you thinking about a different book for each? <laughs> Fifty Shades, Butcher Blackbird. Who would, yeah, the... He's a chef. <laughs> Who would the athlete be? So yeah, Fifty Shades. Fifty Shades. Fifty Shades is not what I was thinking about for CEO. I was thinking about... King of Wrath, but you haven't read that yet. Mm -mm, I haven't gotten there yet. I showed you my list, right? It's extensive, but I do want to get to that. Um, Famous athlete? I don't don't think I've... I I mean, any of the hockey ones are going to have some kind of famous athlete in them. Icebreaker, he was not famous athlete. Yeah, yet who was in college i didn't read that one yet either I and mean, that's like a college um what was the other one ceo or esteemed author mm-hmm. is that what it was i feel like if the roles were reversed that could be haunting i don't because she's an esteemed author there's another book too where a chef a ceo an author or a famous, famous athlete. athlete not a famous athlete i'll rank the other three because to me it's kind of they're pretty close i would say a chef then an author, and then a CEO. I like food. I also just feel like they would have a little bit more time on their hands. Yeah, I agree. But, like, I think that it would be fun to just try new foods, explore the world looking for interesting ingredients kind of a thing. (laughs) He made her all kinds of stuff. Yeah, exactly. And let her help. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds great. through it. Sounds great. That was absolutely adorable. It was adorable. I thought that was the cutest freaking thing ever. There were so many times in that book that I was screaming that I was like, what are you doing? It's because he's Irish. (laughs) He's He's an an idiot. He's an idiot. (laughs) Well, as you say, like, he does things a lot differently than some boys do. It was just the whole, like, why are you in? You asked her to the scala. Why are you answering I, your phone? And then why are you just leaving? Well, I mean, like, he is a very important job. He kind of has to. I understand that he had something to. Something blew up. <laughs> yeah, I understood that something blew up. But take her with you. It wasn't at the new restaurant. It was at the old restaurant. Yeah. So take her with you. Fuck. Or that he didn't even understand at first. That's what got me. When he was like, oh, you're, re- you're really here. And she's like, what? <laughs> no <laughs> like, shit. No shit, Sherlock. Why do you think she came? She didn't think having a fun time was that you were going to end up finding a new victim. It was, she thought like you were actually going to have a fun time together because she fucking likes you. <laughs> And he didn't get it until that moment. <laughs> Such an idiot. What about you? Which would you choose? I think it would be pretty much the same, but I would um, swap writer for CEO okay. in that lineup. Athlete. I, I, honestly, they're so close to me. Like, I don't it, I don't care. I don't have a preference. I think anything could be fun. It just depends on the CEO and how much free time he's able to make, you know? 
Mm-hmm. Would you rather have a saggy butt or saggy boobs? <laughs> Ooh, saggy boobs. I can wear a bra and pick that, them up. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah. You just put a bra put on. Put on a bra. Can't tell. Right. That, yep, yeah, that was my exact thoughts. Yeah. I, I would be sad if my, if I lost my ass. Still contemplating the, the breast lift so that I don't have to wear a bra. I was planning on, so like, <clears throat> Brian and I have talked about this after we have our last child. Uh-huh. Um, I'm getting reduction. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm, it's happening. Yeah. Um, and I was like, while they're at it, lift them. Lift them. Get a reduction. Get them lifted. Never want to wear a bra ever again. Yep. Bras suck. I am all about the free the titty movement. Yep. (sighs) All for it. Dentists are overdramatic about flossing. Back. (laughs) That is so true. Okay. I never floss. I will floss, like, the week of (laughs) my appointment. And they're like, you have gorgeous teeth. Every time, like, I've never had a cavity. Knock on wood. I've, I've, I was blessed with good teeth. I will floss occasionally if I have to. However, if I don't, then I don't. I usually forget. I Mm -hmm. do have a Sonic toothbrush, like one of the Philips Sonic Power toothbrushes. Yeah. That thing has changed my life. Like, I don't really have to use whitening toothpaste anymore like it has a whitening setting and it scrubs your teeth it's really intense and i feel like it gets in there pretty well however i will say i have a metal bar cemented on the bottom row of my teeth to keep my teeth straight and i have a lot of issues with plaque buildup on that and i can feel it when it gets bad flossing doesn't help Mm -hmm. because it needs to be like scraped off yeah so the dentist that i go to they actually use one of the um water pick yes i've I've seen a lot of commercials for that recently that helps them do it so that they're not then scraping my teeth because the dentist that i've gone to previously would take the metal hook and they would jam it in between my teeth and the bar and like pull essentially like they're trying to yank my teeth out with the bar so i hated going to the dentist i was absolutely terrified to go to this new dentist because i didn't know what to expect they didn't even use that metal pick of death they just used the water floss thing Mm -hmm. and it worked better than that thing does my gums didn't bleed no issues nothing so i told logan i want to get one because i feel like i would use that on a regular basis and it would help keep that decently clean because what they do is they tell you because you can't floss normally there i have to thread the floss through a gap in between my teeth pull it around the other side and shimmy it in between the bar and my teeth to floss in between my teeth there as a pain in the ass can you imagine trying to thread floss through your your bottom teeth it's a pain in the ass yeah i don't i don't really do it either i have been seeing that water i I want to get one i've been thinking about it they have them at costco and they're not that expensive and i'm pretty sure they're the sonic brand and i want to get one I think that that would help a lot. But no, the dentists are, like, super dramatic about it. Yes, gum disease is a is a thing, but, like, just brush your teeth and make sure you're getting your gum area when you're doing it. All right. <clears throat> Biting your nails makes you a cannibal. Do you have to actually eat it to be a cannibal? Or is it just the fact that you're biting it off? I don't feel like biting your nails makes you a cannibal. However, anybody that bites their epidermis and eats it is a cannibal. That's what I'm saying. I feel like I feel like you have to like ingest it. If you were biting off your nails and eating them, first off, nasty. But I think then yes, that qualifies. When you're biting your nails, you're not eating it. You're just This is disturbing. Yes. <laughs> that hot takes. That's a that's that's a very <laughs> disturbing thought though. Because like I bite my lip. Do you know? Like you bite mm-hmm. the dead skin off of your lip mm-hmm. and you just don't even think about it. But technically, like your body is full of cells that are constantly dying and regenerating. So technically, aren't you a cannibal just for existing? Because your body is going to repurpose said dead cells. It'll either process them out or reuse them. But isn't that naturally just making I feel like you'd also have to make the argument for this. You'd have to make the argument of, like, accidentally, like, eating a hair or accidentally eating, like, an eyelid. You know what I mean? Like, something like that. It'd be like, well, then that's also... (laughs) Right. Like, 
Yeah, and which it's is the a same stupid, exact which is like thing. a dumb. Yeah, it's the same exact thing. Because if the you say hear that, you'd be like, oh no, like that's not okay. Well, that's the same exact thing. Right. Like you're not sitting there eating flesh or muscle. What defines or... cannibal <clears throat> or cannibalism? That's a good question. <clears throat> what is the definition of a cannibal? Yeah, is it the <clears throat> ingesting of? flesh or is it just any part of that being with this definition i'm going to say no cannibalism is the act of consuming another individual of the same species as food another individual which almost makes it sound like it must be a different person so then what is it called if you do that to yourself consumption of another human body matter whether consensual or not (laughs) well (laughs) <laughs> Poor Rowan. <laughs> she tried to warn him. I had to scrape human There's ass. There's a s- <laughs> you, human ass out of your mouth. It's a rump roast. Hot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but what would it then be if you do it to yourself? Self-cannibalism is the practice of eating parts of one's own body, also called auto-cannibalism. Or auto... I'm not going to be able to pronounce that word. Sarcophagy? I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, generally, only the consumption of flesh, including organ meat, such as heart or liver, by any individual of the same species is considered cannibalism. Okay. Consumption so, of flesh. So no. So no. Okay. It's not flesh. Okay. But isn't the epidermis flesh? I mean, tenuous. So is that. But then this does say. Auto cannibalism then? Auto cannibalism. <sighs> Disturbing. People should get a ticket for leaving a shopping cart in a parking lot. Yes. <laughs> Like in the parking lot? Like in the parking lot. Like not putting it in the car corral. Yes. The shopping cart theory. What's the shopping cart theory? The shopping cart theory is that there is nothing. I'm trying to think of how I'm going to say this. It's about, it's determining whether or not you're a good person or not. Like truly a good person. Okay. Because there is no consequence to not putting your shopping cart away. There is no reward. Right. Nothing happens. No. You can leave it wherever. Yeah. If you take the time to put your shopping cart away for who knows what your reason is other than, you know, you think it's the right thing to do. Yeah. Because there's no legal repercussions making you do it. Yeah. There really is no super social repercussions making you do it. Like, nobody's going to yell at you for not doing it. I mean, some people might yell at you for not doing it. But there's nothing forcing you to do it. There is nothing sitting there going, you have to do this or you will get in trouble for it so if you don't put your shopping cart away that means that you must have something behind you that is forcing you to do that that is instilling some kind of fear in you that you will get in trouble for not doing it but if you put your shopping cart away you do it out of just the sole reason of being a good fucking person and putting your shopping cart away put your damn shopping cart away yeah there's car corrals for a reason it just makes everything easier for everybody if you're going to that's the thing though these car these carts are provided free up for most well even if you're at one of those places that you have to put a quarter in you get it back so as long as you put your cart away which is dumb that they have to do that as a repercussion for not putting your cart away (laughs) so and if you think there's a problem with that you're a problem then because obviously you don't put your cart away (laughs) so (laughs) meg not getting heated i This is so heated i've i worked at a grocery store i had to go get carts all the time i was hated when they were literally freaking anywhere even when i worked at said home decor store I had to go out and get carts all the time. They'd be everywhere. People would just leave them. Immediately, if I ever saw somebody like leave a car, somebody, I immediately, you're not a good person. I just know that already. You're not a good person because you can figure it out. I don't like the argument of, of the, oh, I have kids. Okay, yeah, I put my cart away. I have Amelia. She comes with me. I put my cart away and then I go back to the car. Do you know what bothers me really bad? Mm. At certain stores, they now have it set for small carts and large carts. Yes. The people that don't follow that. That's giant specifically. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't going to name it, but yeah. Yes. It bothers me that people don't follow that. Yeah. Because the, the things are different. They're different sizes. They're like that for a reason so that they can grab them all in one shot. It makes it faster for the people to be able to pull them in. Yeah. They're not out there nearly as long. Yeah. So they can be inside helping you for when you're freaking out. The fact that like nobody's there to help me while they're outside all getting caught carts because everybody throws their carts everywhere or steals them or steals them yes um yeah i'm very adamant about this i'm very i get very yes it's a thing it's a it's a (laughs) it's a big thing i always hate when people do that i would also be that person that i'd get on a car and i see somebody with an empty cart 
And I'd be like, I'll take that. Yeah. So you don't have to, like... Yeah, so you don't have I'll to take it. Yeah. <clears throat> I've walked carts all the way back up to a, the door because I was closer to putting it inside the actual store versus a cart the, corral. Yeah, I've done that any time. Mm-hmm. Elderly people should be required to retake their driver's test. Yes. 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 Both the written... And physical. And physical driver's test. Yes. I can't tell you how many times I have feared for myself as well as the lives of others because of a certain person in my life driving. It, not just one person. There, there have been a few, actually. And keys have been taken away because they're just that stubborn. Mm-hmm. Well, we had to take Brian's mom's keys. Well, it, I feel like, you she know, was still driving. It gets to a certain point where we had this conversation a couple weeks ago on the podcast where if we would rather our body go or our minds go. Mm-hmm. And I feel like, you know, it gets to a certain instance where the body is going, but the mind is still there completely. And that makes them think that, because they feel the same. And they think they can still do the same thing. Exactly, but, but it, they can't It's anymore. gonna affect your reaction time. It's gonna affect exactly. everything. So everything. you may be able to, like, watch what's going on around you and assess the situation, but it doesn't mean you're gonna be able to avoid anything. Exactly. Any quicker. Yeah, exactly. Your reaction time but is also, not good. But also, laws change. Yes. Things change. The driver's book you had when you were in high school not learning. Not the same anymore. Not the same anymore. Nope. There are so many things where it's like, oh, you're supposed to turn your blinker on this far before this turn or or God knows the number of random shit they put in there nowadays that yeah. was not there before. Yeah. And they don't follow it. No. Like all these people who don't know how to use freaking roundabouts drives me they insane. They have caused so many accidents. It drives me insane. And I'm like, I don't understand. It's not that difficult. It's really not that difficult. You pay attention to your left. People you are keep just... an eye on the front so you're not like ramming into somebody and you're not, you know, hitting anything, but you your main needs to be on what's coming around that corner people are all just you need impatient. to worry about is getting into the circle once you're in the circle you're fine they're just impatient <laughs> that's the problem and they like want to cut everybody off and you can't do that no. in a roundabout you're or, going to cause a serious accident or you have the people who are in the circle and don't understand a roundabout whatsoever and they stop that has happened way too many times i literally laid on the horn the one time and she was looking at me like and i was like you have the right of way you're in the circle keep going what are you doing <laughs> Because I go through, on my way to work, I go through at least two roundabouts. Yes. Yes. I could go through three if I went a different direction. Because I cut a back road a little bit, I miss one of them. Yeah. But, so I go through two roundabouts on my way into work. No, I go through three. Could go through four. Oh. Yeah, the new one. I oh. forgot about the new one. I was thinking about the one by Sheets. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I was thinking and about the, the, the one, one random made. in the middle. Of, yeah, the one my parents made. And then there's one, like, the randomly in the middle. By the cemetery. By the memorial park. I don't think we're memorial not. Memorial park is on the left. By me? Mm-hmm. Oh, that is a cemetery over there. Mm-hmm. I was just thinking all the cornfields. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a cemetery. There's a cemetery there. Yes, yeah. that one. And then there's one up just a little bit further by Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I missed wow. that one because I come out by the one by the cemetery. No, I... But yes, I go through three roundabouts in the morning. I don't understand why I'm people I'm gonna go don't. through three on the way home. I don't understand why people don't... No. It's so simple. And it's so easy. And here's the thing. When I was... When I was coming to visit Brian one time in Massachusetts? Yes. Cape Cod. Okay. He's in Cape Cod. He was like, watch, because there's roundabouts here and they're all super chaotic because there's no lines inside of them. They're just these giant open spaces. And like... And I was like, oh, okay. I was a little nervous. I made it through that thing in a breeze. Yeah. It was so easy. And he was like, I don't understand how. And I was like, it was chaos. It was complete chaos. And my brain went, I thrive off of chaos. Yes. And I got into the circle. And it doesn't matter. As soon as you get in the circle, you don't got to worry anything. All you got to do is find your exit, get out of the circle. This is why I do so well driving through cities. Logan refuses to drive through the city. He doesn't care what city it is. Philly, <laughs> he, no, Chaos. he won't do it. He's like, I, I can't do it. You need to do it. I was nervous driving up to New York City for the first time to visit Cassia mm-hmm. because I had to it, I had never driven through the city before. I was terrified. I thrived. I did so well. I was in there uh, jamming to music, cutting people off. Just, you know, <laughs> I'm I'm coming in. You're making room for me. Like, I typical. did not care. I became a typical New Yorker <laughs> and was just like, screw everybody. And I was just 
it, I thrived. It was great. And it was complete chaos. It was a shit show, but I thrived. Speaking of New Yorkers. Yeah. Um, so today we were talking about, uh, we just found out that one of our high ups is leaving the company. Yeah. Um, one of our other people, she has an old company car. Okay. That transmission's blown in it. She's literally been sitting around for like over a year at this point. Okay. Don't know what to do with it. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's just been sitting there because the transmission's done in it. And she goes, I don't know what to do with it. You know, with him leaving and us getting a new person, like I wonder what's going to happen. Especially when it comes to that. Like, what are they going to want with it? And I said to her, I was like, well, honestly, it's not really your problem anymore. I would send them a copy of all the titles and everything. Because technically it's owned by the company. They were aware of, th- of this vehicle. And I would go, hey... It's dead. Here's the address that it's at. Go get it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then um, our doctor is there. Not the radiologist. The okay. family one. Yeah. yeah. The, yeah, the yeah. Funny. The, yeah. Well, they're both funny. But like. <laughs> but I know yeah. this one. Yeah. yeah. So um, he was there and he's older. Yes. And um, his stories are hilarious. So his stories about him when he was younger and like just some of the things that he did and seen and. And we're talking about this car, and she's like, I don't know, I was like, what do we, how do we do? We get rid of it? Like, how do we get rid? Of, like, that what kind do of we thing? do? And he was like, Well, this is what you do. You find a bus stop, you take the tags off, <laughs> and you leave it there. And he goes, Well, that's at least what you do in New York. <laughs> and I was like, Wait a second. And she goes, It sounds like you've done this before. <laughs> and he goes, Well, I did live in New York, and. <laughs> And you he find was talking a bus about, stop. and we're like, we need to hear more about this. So he was talking about his thing. He was talking about this old car that he had. This would have been like right after he graduated med school, which he was married at the time. Okay. Him and his wife were living in New York. Yes. So this was probably like the 80s, maybe 90s. Um, okay. So he was driving and he said the kind of car it is, but I don't remember what it was. Um, and he said all of a sudden in his rear view, he saw this, like, he was like, what is that? And he goes, it wasn't smoke. He was like, it was my water, whatever water tank emptying. He goes, somehow these two pipes that aren't supposed to meet each other met. <laughs> and all of the water in like, one tank went out my exhaust <laughs> and killed, pretty much killed. He goes, I limped that car home. And I was like, what do we do? And he goes, and my wife, the true New Yorker she is, went, we take it to the bus stop. <laughs> take it to the bus station so they, <laughs> he was like what do you mean and she goes they're not gonna care took it to the bus station took the tags off took the plates off left it there he goes never had to see it again he goes it happens too often that new york doesn't care they they tow them they sit they do whatever with them after a while he goes and then we bought a ford fiesta <laughs> Okay. A bright yellow Ford Fiesta. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and he's like, we're like, oh, nobody's going to steal that in New York. And he was like, exactly. <laughs> That's the point. Yeah. Wow. He's hilarious, though. Like, this is the kind of stories that I hear from him. And I was laughing so hard. I was him and I was like, I love these late night talks. Yeah. Because this was like end of day, like literally like 10 minutes before I was leaving. I was just like dropping a chart off. He comes strolling in. This was after I was, like, talking to her about, like, because I was like, oh, my God, I just got this email. Yeah. And so then he, like, hears us talking, and he's like, I'm going to join. <laughs> and he, like, <laughs> opens up his little office door, and he's like, him join. in his sweater vest, and I love awesome. him. awesome. He's hilarious. He's oh great. Oh, gosh. Makes my days interesting, that's for sure. You got anything else you want to talk about? I don't know. I don't think so. I think that was pretty much everything. Unless I see something pretty crazy. I can't even answer that one because it would literally kill me. I can answer this. It says crunchy peanut butter is better than smooth. It depends on the peanut butter. Children 12 and under should not have social media. I agree with that. I agree with that as well. We didn't have it. Nope. We turned out fine. Did we? I just thought I don't remember what it was. Oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. (laughs) <clears throat> Logan and I were watching Rhett and Link last night. They were doing a more where they had to rank viral videos. Muffins was one of the videos. Muffins? Remember the guy that did shoes? And he did muffins? Yes. Logan didn't know what this was. Neither did Rhett and Link. And I looked at him because they brought it on the screen and they had to guess what it was. And I was like, blood muffins. And Logan was like, what? And it all, they also did Harry Potter Puppet Pals. Yes. Logan didn't know about Harry Potter Puppet Pals. It's a pipe bomb. <laughs> oh my god. Voldemort, Voldemort, oh Voldemort, Voldemort, Voldemort. Oh my god. Yeah. Did you know Carl? He he kind of knew about Carl, but they had Did Carl, you know the, the unicorn. 
A duck walked up to a lemonade stand. They didn't have that one. <laughs> they said there. to the man running the stand, <laughs> "You didn't have that bum, one." Bum, bum. But got any grapes? <laughs> they. <laughs> Charlie the unicorn. Yes, they had that one on there. He didn't know that one. So oh I made God. him watch muffins, and he was like, "Is this early 2000s?" And I was like, "Yes, this is." We the almost stuff need to find popular. a whole bunch of these. Oh my God, we need to find a whole bunch of these. You need to play them from Brian. <laughs> He would have no clue about it any of it. Whole, I was like, this This was huge when I was in middle school. Yes. I was like, this came out in 2006. You were in high school, sir. And he was like, I didn't, I didn't. This was early YouTube. He was like, I didn't mess around with this YouTube. This was the pinnacle of YouTube. This is right so, before YouTube went downhill. <laughs> so I, I did. I made him watch Muffins. And he absolutely loved it. And then I made him watch Shoes. And he was like, this is the funniest shit ever. <gasps> then I made him watch Harry Potter Puppet Pals. And the entire time I was sitting there just singing along. And he was like, why am I not surprised that you love this? <laughs> like, this is just, it makes yes. sense. Yeah. There's so yeah. many, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because there's so many that I still, like, will quote, like, um. All the time. Charlie. Like, <laughs> Charlie. 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 <laughs> People, Carl. <laughs> Where are his hands? <laughs> oh well, you know my tummy was making the rumblies from. <laughs> Which only hands can satisfy. Oh, God, the rusty spoon. Yes. <laughs> that was the thing. Like he knows about salad fingers. I was like, how do you know about salad, salad fingers? fingers? And not all of the others. And he's like, no. There's a video that cracks me up every time. There's, um, Markiplier does a series about funny videos. Okay. And I honestly think we should watch Yeah, we should watch them. We should. But, um, and one of them <laughs> is that, I wonder if I can find it. Um, it's like a bull rider. Okay. And the door gets kicked open and somebody's standing on the other side of the door and the guy gets, like, smacked by it. But it's the, somebody wants <laughs> <laughs> do you remember when that was first popular and it was one i don't remember what the the song was but it was somebody running up to a wall of lockers and just body slamming the lockers <laughs> oh my god it's got some shows logan looked at he told me that we need to recreate shoes he was like the, you guys should do a short where you recreate shoes, shoes? oh here it is here it is here it is this is gonna be great <laughs> <laughs> That's good. And I watched more. that video so many times. Yeah. And I, I laughed so hard. <laughs> but that's in one of them. That's in one of them. We we will have to do a react. I'll figure out how to do that. Maybe we'll do that next week. I will uh I'll get to work. I'll start compiling some stuff. Send me stuff. Yes. We'll, we'll have to do that. I'll do some research on the logistics of recording it so that we can get the best best reactions. It's gonna be real up close and personal. Hopefully I don't look like Rudolph anymore. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess that's all we got. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Are you going to sneeze? Watermelon? <laughs> Pineapple? I was trying to think of something else to Elephant? say just by. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, we, we'll see you next week. I'm trying to think of something to say. Say goodbye. I don't know. Goodbyes are so hard. <laughs> <laughs> You're just laughing. It's funny as so, like you can't see your face. So you're just laughing. <laughs> when you're shaking, which makes it look like you're crying. I am on another level. <laughs> I, clearly, I need a serious dose of medicine and a very good night's sleep. All right. Well, bye. Bye. <laughs>